A hero has Hello everyone, this is the Lord Gershavire Academy and the Geek Overthinker giving you a Heroes of the Storm shoutcast. The alpha reset was just recently this past week. Um, all new characters. Uh, couple of new heroes joining the fight, including Anubarak with the very excellent Cybrock skin down on the bottom here. Uh, on the red team, we have Cybrock, we have a Blood Elf Tyrande, we have Kerrigan and Vala. In addition to an Arthas on the blue team, the other side we have Lily, Arthas, Rhaegar, Vala, and Tyrael playing on Haunted Mines. And here we go. So right now we got three going down on the bottom. Tyrael moving to take the Watchtower. Arthas by himself up top. Let's see whether or not he decides to get aggressive. Anubarak going to take the Watchtower here. And it looks like uh, we're already starting to dance around each other down on the bottom lane. People kind of seeing each other, grabbing watchtowers. Let's see where this develops. And here we have a team fight already starting to develop on the bottom lane as Rhaegar and Tyrael come in. Kerrigan moving in for melee. Vala and Tyrande trying to keep range. Kerrigan getting harried by Rhaegar and Tyrael. They're coming in. I don't think she's going to escape. Down she goes. Tyrande also taking a lot of damage. I wonder if Tyr Tyrael and Rhaegar can finish her off. There she goes. Two kills very early for the blue team at the start here. Up top we have Arthas and Cyberrock engaging Arthas and Lily. You have two pretty strong and defensible warriors here engaging a warrior and a support. That's probably going to result in a stalemate, but one that hurts the blue team more than the red team. Now here are Tyrael's retaking the watchtower, and we have some more skirmishes. Looks like they might be developing down in the bot lane. With uh, Rhaegar throwing down Totem and Lightning Shield trying to catch Vala, but up on top lane, looks like this has turned into a 3 versus 3 as Kerrigan and Tyrael have joined the fight. Arthas retreating, grabbing the Moonwell, but now it looks like Red Team's gaining the upper hand. It looks like Blue's going to have to retreat right here. Is uh, Tyrael going to go down? Tyrael does go down. Lily and Arthas pull back as Red Team takes command of the top lane. Down the bottom lane, Rhaegar hunting around, trying to find a good angle to come in and start an attack here. Looks like he's coming in to engage Tyrande right now. This team of Rhaegar and Vala, I think, is going to be a little bit stronger than uh, Tyrande and Vala if they can get keep these people out of range, if they can keep them in melee. But otherwise, uh, I think the advantage is going to stay with the ranged attackers. Now Kerrigan's coming in here. We have a 3v2 fight. Up top as the mines have opened. Cyberrock got into some trouble here. He's beginning to walk away. Looks like he will get away as Lily and Arthas enter the mines with Tyrael. Now on the bottom here, Kerrigan and Tyrande and Vala are starting to spread out. Tyrande, very powerful, uh, very high damage support. Um, looks like she's going to be able to clean up some of those skulls down there as Lily and Arthas head north. Um, now, when you're playing, you can see the skeletons start to disappear on the map, and it looks like Arthas has noticed that. He's chasing after Tyrande here. She vaults away. Will two of them be able to catch up? Death Coil means Vala looks like she's going to escape. Kerrigan comes in, maybe not expect... Oh, Vala goes down. Kerrigan gets surrounded. She's going to go down. Two kills in the mines. It looks like Blue has control of them at this point. Cybrock making a, a retreat here. I know I should be calling him a Nubarok instead of Cybrock, but whatever, we're going to keep going with that. Blue team is coming in. Is going to pick up the Grave Golem here. That's going to give them about 60 skulls total. Maybe 70 to the other team's 31. We'll see how that uh, resolves up here. Meanwhile, up on the top, Red Team is going to go ahead and pick up the Giants and are probably going to move forward and try and take the Knights here shortly thereafter. So Blue Team has a commanding lead on the Skulls for the Golems. It's going to be interesting to see how this develops. Blue has not taken their Giants yet, and yet here comes Red in to take the Knights. They're going to wrap them up pretty quickly as Blue Hearthstone's home, and now looks like they are heading to try and pick up their Knights before that stolen as well. Uh, I'm sorry, they're Giants uh, before they get stolen by the Red Team. Golems are summoned. Here come the Knights for Red. We're going to see how this goes. Looks like Red's going to try and get greedy and take the other side. Here, Vala's caught out of position, vaults away. And we have a bit of a team fight developing right here as Tyrion and Arthas move in, trying to engage Kerrigan, running into a little more firepower than I think they were expecting as they start pulling back under the combined efforts of Anubarak and Arthas. Hey, look, I even said it right that time. 
bit of a back and forth as the Rhaegar comes in, heals up the team. They come in and engage. Looks like Kerrigan is about to go down. Is she going to get caught? Oh, she might survive, and it looks like everyone might actually make it out of here alive. Very surprising, as now the golems are made it to the opposing team's bases and start to go to work. Red seems to be pretty intent on taking the blue's golem down. On the other side, the weaker red golem is being defended by a couple of giants and just the towers alone. The action is up top. Still no one going down, despite being at critically low health. Arthas and Vala trying to clean up the minions here and let their golem do some work for them. Blue golem goes down. Red golem goes down. Uh, red team coming in, pushing blue back here as it's a four on three. Looks like uh, blue will get in some hits as they retreat. And after the first golem is complete, looks like blue has a little bit of an advantage. Maybe did a little more damage to the tower structure here. Um, Red did manage to take a tower down, uh, but uh, kind of surprising there in that massive team fight, there were no significant kills. Now at that point, Tyrande gets caught out of position and is taken out. Kerrigan Hearthstone's back, and it looks like Tyrion and Rhaegar are trying to make a play forward, taking out this guard tower and just weathering the attacks of Anubarak while doing so. Rest of King comes forward. Lili, Vala, Arthas, will they take down the tower? They will take down the tower. How far is this push going to last? Gate comes down. Kerrigan and Arthas have to engage at this point, have to make some kind of a defense to try and force them off here. Tyr uh, Tyrande's coming up right there. Kerrigan goes down. Arthas is going to retreat. Blue team trying very hard to take this tower. I'm sorry, this fort, as they maneuver around here. Um, a lot of effort, maybe too much effort being spent on the minions. Vala kind of wandering around lost in, in this area right here. Maybe trying to come up and execute a flank right here as Vala comes in. Blue team taking a lot of damage. It looks like some of them are going to go down. Tyriel goes down, is in his invulnerable mode right here. Arthas manages to make a retreat. The rest of the blue team had reasonably good health as all of Red's players are back up from the uh, previous engagement. Now, uh, looks like the tide has turned. Red might be trying to make a push right here. No, they're going to be cleaning up minions. And that's where we are at at this point. Blue ahead by one level. Uh, both teams still have four, f uh, all four forts. Blue ahead by a couple of kills. Here, Kerrigan's caught out of position a little bit. If the blue team folds in on her, she should go down pretty quickly. Cybrock comes in trying to save her with a body block. Rhaegar goes down. That is uh, kind of surprising that Blue managed to... Um, mess up that engagement a little bit you would have thought with the um, additional resources they had and now as the mines reopen red's making a strong play in the mines four out of their five characters down there several of them making a beeline that looks straight for the grave golem which is a bit of an aggressive play blues is coming in now Tyrael, lili and vala trying to make a difference here as uh Tyrande, Cyberrock, and Vala, and the Red Vala, I should say. We have a bit of engagement right here. It's three on four. Looks like it's not going well for Blue. Vala's at very, both Vala's at very low health. Lili manages to throw a heal, but I think Tyriel's going to go down. The other two need to retreat right now, or they're probably going to get caught out of position. Arthas coming up from the bottom, trying to body block and defend Vala a little bit. Is it going to work? No, Kerrigan grabs Vala with the wings. That's going to be it for her. Arthas has to get out of there. He's going to go down too. 16 skulls for the red team at this point. Arthas does manage to make an escape and is going to go up top with Lili and try and clean this up as red has dominant control of the mines. Now at this point, Rhaegar snuck into the other side of the enemies is trying to solo these giants and uh, from there maybe do a bit of a backdoor push while red pretty much cleans up all the skeletons. Lili and Arthas now trying to make a bit of a play down here. Come down, engage Cybrock and Kerrigan, who are injured from the previous fight, and due to them not having as much healing support as the Lili and Arthas's own self-healing abilities, it looks like they're pretty low right now. Cybrock going to escape back up top. Uh, Kerrigan and Red Arthas on bottom as they... Uh, Try and decide whether to make a play on the Grave Golem. Tyrande may be a little bit out of position, moving towards there. She goes down. We now have three or four blue members versus red. Kerrigan goes down. Arthas is going to try to escape uh, as Vala begins engaging the Grave Golem solo. There, Arthas is going to escape as the blue team Arthas and Lili go to take out the Grave Golem. Red team Arthas and red team Vala moving to clean up the last of the skeletons and then they're going to head back looks like uh anubarak here is going to make a play for the knights as Rhaegar takes both sets of siege Go uh, siege giants solo and now we have the golem summoning it is a approximate 60 to 40 golem as red comes in to take the knights Rhaegar 
trying to contemplate a move there, but if he goes in, he's going to get exploded. All four red team members are there. Yeah, he's not going to make that play. He's backing off. Blue team regrouping a little bit, maybe trying to make a... Well... We're going to see where this develops here, whether red team or blue team stays together or not. Blue's going to definitely need to defend against both a Knight's push uh, and a stronger Grave Golem push. Bit of a skirmish there with Bala as she gets away. Blue Team Golem uh, engaged against the Red Fort. Red Team doing a good job working it down. Red Golem not nearly getting as much attention from the Blue Team as a Lone Siege Giant. They're doing what he's not very good at, which is killing minions, and Siege Giant goes down. Uh, only Vala and Tyrael down here, uh, while Arthas, Lili, uh, and Rhaegar go up top trying to make a play. It is not a play that is going to work as as uh, as Anubarak, Arthas, uh, and Kerrigan, and Taronda push this back. Red's still got their golem up, golem up. They're still beating on the gates down here as Blue Team is having to make a retreat. This engagement is not going Blue's way. Arthas goes down. Vala comes in with her strafe, spinning to win, as they say. Looks like Lili is going to go down. Rhaegar makes an escape, and it looks like Blue is going to lose their first fort. Red's fort, uh, Red's first fort had gone down earlier by virtue of the Grave Golem. Uh, Red Team Grave Golem is finally down, uh, along with two members of Blue Team. And uh, one of Blue Team's forts. Now the question is, is Red going to try and continue to push here? They don't have too much time before Arthas and Lili come back up. This is a bit of a dangerous position for them to be in. They may be overextending at this point, especially with an injured uh, Anubarak, uh, Bala, and Kerrigan. It looks like they are going to make an escape uh, a retreat here as Blue Team comes back in force. Um, and uh, a solid retreat it is. Tyrael trying to catch up. Um, and now with Kerrigan and Arthas coming up from the rear, they are either out of position or about to be, or trying to flank. Vala getting attacked here. Kerrigan uh, not going to be able to secure the kill as the rest of the blue team folds in on Kerrigan and secures it. So at this point, we have 12 kills to 8 for the blue team. They're one level ahead, but Red is about to uh, pick that back up. They're pushing in, trying to take this tower down as Vala moves to solo the Siege Giants. Um, Taronda is uh, doing a good job split pushing here, lighting off a um, uh, Spy Falcon right there. I forget what that ability is called. Um, Vala now realizing, I'm sorry, not Vala, Taronda now realizing she may have overstayed her welcome a little bit. Uh, gonna push just a little bit more, and then it looks like she's about to retreat as Blue Team, uh, kind of wandering around here, uh, looking for mercenaries that aren't there. Um, now we have Vala and Tyrael trying to get a kill on Taronda. She is out of position, and she is gonna go down, uh, as... Blue moves to maybe pick up a couple of watchtowers, regroup a bit on their own. The mines are opening again in 10 seconds, and it looks like both teams really pretty even at this point. Uh, Kerrigan caught out of position a little here, see if she can make an escape. Uh, and it looks like she will. Arthas comes up to lay down a well-placed Sindragosa, freezing the blue team in place, letting his teammate escape there. Mines are now open. Vala and uh, Anubarak uh, for... Uh, I'm sorry, that is a blue Vala and Tyrael down against an Anubarak as he then tries to make an escape as Lili and Arthas join the mines fight as Anubarak is not going to get away. Red is taken out. Blue's got some control of the mines. Looks like there's a signal from Blue to go after the Grave Golem, specifically Vala cleaning up some of the skeletons. We have Arthas, Kerrigan, and Vala for the red team down here. It looks like they're going to be trying to take up some of the um, uh, the smaller skeleton minions while Blue makes a push for the Grave Golem. This is going to give them about the same number of skulls, uh, maybe a little bit of an advantage to the red team with the most recent patch. Uh, it's a little bit more lucrative to grab the individual skulls than just rush for the Grave Golem. Uh, maybe uh, not so good of a lesson for the blue team. It looks like all the skulls have pretty much been collected, and a bit of a team fight here. Arthas goes down. And it looks like uh, Blue Team's going to pick up two more kills here. Uh, two, maybe three, if they can pick up this Vala. It looks like two for two right now. Not a wholly bad engagement, especially since Blue is ahead on kills. Arthas mounts up, trying to chase down Vala. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. Uh, as Vala has that tumble that lets her get out. Yes. Can Arthas land? Oh, lands a very good... Uh, freeze Blast right there, but it still looks like Vala with her Vault is gonna make it back behind 
the gates as Arthas tries to clean up these red minions. The golems are being summoned. Rhaegar a little bit out of position trying to get out from Anubarak and Tyrande. I don't think he's going to make it with a well-placed stun by Tyrande. He does make it back behind the tower and survives. Uh, the red golem now supported by two members attacking down there. Blue golem, uh, blue team golem up north, but blue team not really anywhere in sight right now. Looks like they're, they're kind of converging on the bottom lane to take care of this red golem. Maybe pick up a couple of kills right there. It does look like Tyrande goes down. Uh, Anubarak makes his escape. The grave golem having taken down this fort is now pushing for the towers. Blue team's golem uh, has been pretty well defended. Uh, by the red team. Uh, I don't think they're going to get any more progress over here as uh, Kerrigan, Arthas, and Bala have done a good job taking this down and a good push of red minions built up here which are now going to be moving out towards the left-hand side of the map. Uh, both golems are now down and it looks like there might be a team fight developing for the knights here in the center as Rhaegar and Arthas come in on the blue team. Um, wow! Tyrande, Ker uh, Tyrande goes down, I'm sorry, Kerrigan, Bala go down immediately. Um, well placed Cinder Gosa by Arthas, but he gets taken down too. Tyrande, who I misspoke, she just respawned. Blue team picks up the Knights and four kills. Now two levels ahead, very much dominating this game. Question will be to see what Blue does next. Looks like they're cleaning up the bottom lane minions and then are going to make a push with those Knights as Rhaegar once again really acting in the role of a jungler this game is sneaking forward taking those siege giants that's now been seen by Tyrande but I don't think she's in a position to stop him as blue team comes in and is going to take the second fort for red now this evens up teams at two forts to two but it seems to me that blue is really in control of this game they're ahead by 12 kills have been winning team fights more consistently um and have uh, had stronger Grave Golems twice. Now with the red team back up, uh, it's going to be a question of whether or not Blue is going to extend or overextend here in their push. Kerrigan and Ubarak and Vala uh, defending down here, and it looks like Blue's realized that they're overextending as both Valas are strafing. One of the Valas goes down again. Kerrigan makes, barely makes an escape. Blue team looks like they're escaping here with everybody pretty much intact. Um, though if Anubarak has a good charge in here, he might be able to pick off someone weaker like Lili. But it looks like everybody's getting away pretty clean. Oh, and Lili gets caught by that Anubarak charge, as I uh, mentioned. Uh, Anubarak paying for that, maybe with his life, picks up Rhaegar as a kill in general. Anubarak managing to survive. Uh, Lili and Vala escaping, getting slowed down by that Sintragosa. In comes Anubarak, and Vala is now going to go down. Lili barely hanging on to her life. Arthas coming in. Tyrael making chase for Arthas. Anubarak and Kerrigan stealth probably from the Shadow Walk from Toronto, which was activated just before she died. Uh, Tyrael a little bit out of position. Arthas is going to try and come in and tank for him. Lily supporting. I don't think Tyrael is going to survive this if Kerrigan manages to land another attack. Uh, Arthas now engaging Kerrigan, trying to take that assassin out of play. Uh, Tyrael miraculously survives. Arth is being engaged. Tyrael can't contribute to this fight. He's just going to get taken out. Uh, Arthas manages to go down. That's a 3-2 to two trade for the blue team. Very favorable right now. Again, it's two forts to two forts. The red team uh, behind by 14 kills. Uh, as the mines have reopened, uh, Red Team has actually done a pretty good job coming in here and picking up a lot of the skulls already so far. It's currently 50 to 2, um, and it looks like T uh, Tyrael and Lily are going to be making a play for the Grave Golem as they come up here. I uh, don't know if they realize what Red Team members are down here. Tyrael and Lily just kind of sitting here, maybe a little bit nervous. Uh, Vala comes in, doesn't know whether or not to engage. Uh, up top, it looks like Blue has managed to secure all three of the mercenary camps as uh, Rhaegar uh, continues to push top. Tyrande kind of keeping an eye on him, maybe trying to figure out the right moment to make a play. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Tyrael and Lily just now engaging the Grave Golem. Arthas coming to back them up, probably not the best move. He's likely more needed elsewhere as there are five red players on the top of the map. Anubarak probably going to have a pretty uh, easy time dealing with this push right here, uh, despite the siege. No, Anubarak pulling back. Uh, four members of the red team up top having cleaned that up pretty well. 
we'll see where they come down here. Red team uh, currently controlling this watchtower, and it looks like they're trying to get both, trying to get some vision control of the map. Um, Red team definitely having won the Grave Gone fight. Oh, here's Vala caught out of position. She able to vault away. Two assassins chasing her, and here comes an Ultra Lisk. Is Red Team Vala going to be able to land the kill? It looks like it is the case. Two down for Blue Team right now. Uh, not very good for them as they have a stronger Red Golem that's about to come in here. The Kerrigan's Ultra Lisk getting taken out. Uh, looks like a new Barak. Uh, waiting at just the right moment to retake these mercenaries as the rest of the red team is going to try and maybe re-pick up the knights and just sort of weather the attacks from the much weaker blue grave golem as red is devoting their entire active team to taking this down and unfortunately with both of red team's assa uh, with both blue team's assassins dead uh it doesn't look like they're really doing much damage to this grave golem at all Tyrion and arthas are and lily are none of them are really high damage characters they really need um uh, Rhaegar, who's a much higher damage support, and Vala, who's of course the assassin on the blue team, I misspoke earlier, uh, to get back in here and really deal some damage to this Grave Golem. Uh, Taronda doing a very good job of uh, throwing out those uh, sentries, keeping an eye on the blue team, knowing where they are. Red's been uh, very much, in terms of vision, uh, in dominant control of the map right now. Uh, Red Team has now cleaned up the Blue Grave Golem after it got a couple of hits on the second fort. Blue still has their fort intact, though, uh, with less hit points remaining. Now, at this point, we've kind of hit a bit of a lull in this battle. Blue still way far ahead on kills, but I'm beginning to get the sense that they're starting to lose their strategic edge in this fight as we now have a team fight developing up top with Siege Giants and the majority of the red team facing off against all five blue players. Now Kerrigan's coming in. It's a full five on five. And action here. Ultimates flying everywhere. Shadow stock down. Multiple heroes dropping. Tyrael, Tyrande, Vala uh, on the red team. Arthas taking a lot of damage. Anubarak also, it's unclear whether they'll get away. A very low hit point. Vala trying to get Anubarak out of there. He manages to charge away. And looks like Blue Team, once again, uh, on, on what looked like the brink of uh, it, losing control, has come back and just dominated the enemy team 5-0. to zero. Granted, they have a couple of low hit point people on their team. Vala is going to need to uh, regenerate, go back and heal a little bit, get some from Lili. Um, as the rest of the team now pushes forward, the only person up right now is Anubarak, who, if we check the talents here real quick, I think he has... Uh, Resurgence of the Storm, which is how he was able to get back up so quick. We now have a four-on-one as a Anubarak is trying to defend against this push, but even with his high defense, oh, it looks like he is going to escape that shield saving him. Blue Team, meanwhile, will trade that lack of kill for cleaning up the rest of that blue fort. It's now one fort to two remaining, and I think at this point, blue team really needs to get out of here as the red team is resurrecting right now at full health and mana. Uh, blue team being aggressive anyway. Vala coming in with her strafe. Tyrael goes down. Rhaegar starting to retreat. Lili starting to retreat, but it looks like she's going to be caught out of position if Kerrigan and Vala want to. I think Lili goes down. Rhaegar can't save her. He's starting to back off now. Arthas, who had retreated south, looks like he's trying to come up here, maybe buy Rhaegar some time, decides against, retreats away. Um, Blue definitely overextended at that point, should have retreated as soon as the tower fell. They paid for that mistake with two kills, um, and it looks like uh, well, Rhaegar slowing down with a well-placed Earthbind Totem is now going to get out of here. The mines have reopened. Um, both Arthas's, Arthas I, uh, and Vala are on... Uh, Arthas and Vala on the bottom for the blue team. Uh, Anubarak, uh, Vala, and Arthas now on bottom for the red team. Uh, Arthas and Anubarak in a bit of a fight right here. Anubarak seems to have the upper hand, but Vala manages to come in. They take him down. Uh, Arthas and Vala engaging the Grave Golem. Once again, looks like if Red picks up this Grave Golem, they're going to once again have a stronger Golem than the blue team. Now, the problem that Red will have... Uh, is that they have to work their way through this fort in order to attack the core, whereas the blue grave golem, even if it's weaker, which it looks like it's going to be, is just going to be able to stand up, walk straight for the core, and start beating on it. We're getting close to the end of the game here, folks. I should have been hiding that the entire time. My apologies. Hey, it's my first shoutcast. Go easy on me. Rhaegar, once again, trying to sneak around and pick up the... Uh, 
red team's Siege Golems uh, as Tyrael, Arthas, and Lily start moving in that general direction as well, perhaps trying to give them a hand as Tyrael teleports across the breach. Uh, as the Grave Golems are summoning up, looks like the red team, the three of them that are up, are prepared to make a stand against the Grave Golem here. Red, uh, I'm sorry, Blue, their whole team... Uh, ignoring the Red Grave Golem on their side, trying to maybe end the game right here. Uh, Tyrande, uh, trying to defend, taking some damage, backing off, picking up the Moonwell. Very, uh, very slick move right there as she retreats. It's, it's always good to try and pick up those regenerations when you have them. Rhaegar lighting off his Bloodlust. I'm wondering if it might have made more sense, instead of the blue team taking the bottom fort while that gets them the Catapult Bend, if they had made a straight push of the core, I wonder if this game might be over by now. Tyrande now getting uh, hit by both Rhaegar and Arthas. She will make an escape as she uses her Shadow Stock ability. Blue team really beating on the core, trying to bring it down. It's at 60%. Uh, red team's Vala strafing, doing a lot of damage. Lily goes down. Tyrael goes down. Red team core below 50% now. Arthas is going to go down. And this push has been neutralized by the red team. Extremely well done. Winning that team fight, three kills for nothing. Arthas, Lily, and uh, Rhaegar going down. Only Tyrael and um, Bala back defending the base against the Red Grave Golem, which the stronger Red Grave Golem looks like uh, he's taken off almost as much damage to the core as the Red Team did on their initial attack. And now it is just Tyrael defending as Red Team comes in here. They're going to pick up Knights, uh, maybe take the Siege Towers, and then it looks like there's going to be a pretty serious push here, which Blue is maybe not even going to be alive for. This is going to be very close here, ladies and gentlemen, as we come into the final moments of this game. Red with 0-4, it's still down by 9 kills. Blue, 4 heroes unconscious right now. 3 now as Lily comes up. Um, and now Red Team coming in all together on the bottom. T uh, Tyrael here, Lily here. The key here, you've got to take them down, you've got to stay alive. I don't think this is going to last very well. Good Sindragosa getting lit off. Red Team bump rushing the core, trying to take it down as fast as possible. Will they make it? 10%? 5? Yes, they will. And that is the end of the game. Red Team wins, despite really struggling the majority of the game. Red Team victory. And that, well, as this Rhaegar said, was a close game. And that is the end of this shoutcast. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. See you all next time.